Welcome to this tutorial by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the text input component in Flash. So to get started, we're going to create an ActionScript 3 document. Then I'm going to go to Properties, and I'm going to change the stage to be 300 pixels by 200 pixels. Once I have that done, I'm going to click OK. Close that, and then I'm going to grab my text tool, and I'm going to type out on the stage. We're just going to size this up. We're going to type out, what is your name? Question mark and then I'm going to just position that right here. And once I have that done, I'm going to go to Window, Components, and drag out a Button Component and a Text Input Component. And for the Text Input Component, I'm just going to grab the Transform Tool, size that up a little bit so we can fit more text in there, put that underneath the text that we've typed, and move the button underneath that. So once I've done that, I'm going to grab the text tool, and then I'm going to make a dy dynamic text box underneath so that we can render out some text within it. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to position all of this in the middle of the stage. Okay, so now that I've done that, um, basically what's going to happen in today's tutorial is a uh, user's going to be able to take and put their name in this box right here, this input, click the submit button, and then it's going to render out hello, whatever their name is, in this box right here. So it's kind of a simpler tutorial, um, but it definitely shows what the input can do. Um, the other way you could add a text input would be to go to the text tool, go to properties, and then change the dynamic text to input text. But uh, I like how the component, um, you just drag it out, it's basically ready to go, and it even has like a little... Um, I'll do control test maybe to show you. Um, when you click on it, it has a little highlight around it. I kind of like that too. Um, so it has some advantages over the other method. So basically what we need to do first is add some instance names to these objects. So I'm going to select this right here. Then I'm going to go to, we're going to call it my name um, for the input box. For this, we're going to call it submit. And for this, we're going to call it name text. All right. Now we need to add some actions, so I'm going to open up the actions panel. For the first thing, we're going to change the, um, the text that's on this button. Instead of saying label, it's going to say submit, so we're going to say submit dot label, label, space equals space, a couple of quotes, and a semicolon. Inside the quotes, we're going to say submit, and that will change the text on the button. So the next thing we need to do is um, Basically, I'm going to set some default text within this box, um, just as a second reminder, besides this question right here, um, to tell them that they need to be putting their name in there. So I'm going to say my name dot text, text, space equals space, a couple of quotes, and a semicolon. Inside the quotes, we're going to say enter your name. All right, so the next thing we need to do is create an event listener so that when this button is clicked, it will get it will uh, gather that data right here, and then it will be able to render it out later. So we're going to say submit dot add event listener, open parenthesis, mouse event, and then dot click in all caps. And then we need to have a comma and Oh, the M on mouse needs to be capitalized. So capital M, capital E, dot click, and then comma, space, then we need a function name, and I'm just going to say name, submit. Close parentheses, semicolon. Then we need to write that function, so I'm going to say function, space, name, submit, space, open parentheses, event, colon, mouse event, close parentheses, colon, void, open curly bracket, enter a couple times, close curly bracket, up arrow key, then we basically need to set the name uh, text right here um, to what this was um, plus the word hello. So the way we're going to do that is I'm going to go back to the actions. We're going to say name text. Name text, I think is how we spelled it. Um, dot text or dot HTML text, but we're just going to be using dot text for this. Space equals space, and then we're going to be putting the word hello, so we need two quotes, and then inside that we're going to say hello, and then a space, so that there's a space in between the word hello and the name that was input. And then outside the quotes we need a space, plus, space, and then we need that text from the input. So we're going to say my name, dot text, semicolon. So now if we do a control test movie, it should be working. So I'm just going to put in my name here. Submit, and it'll say, hello, Kevin. You take and put in a different name, and it will update it, because it'll run through the event listener again, and it'll say, hello, whatever the next name is. 
So this component is uh, pretty helpful. Um, I mainly see it used for forms uh, online. Um, maybe instead of rendering out the name down here, you would be submitting it to a database or using it in an email for a contact form. Um, but it's a pretty nice little component you can just drag out and use for inputting text. Um, so I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And uh, check back for the next component tutorial tomorrow. Thanks.